What you got there, Mrs. Parker? I have a box that says Chiapa Firearms. Sure does. Let's see what's inside. Mm. Hmm. What is that? That's kind of like a space high-tech uh, sci-fi looking weapon there. This is a Chiapa Rhino 40DS in 40 Smith & Wesson. It's a 40 caliber Rhino. Hmm. Now why would you want one of those? Oh, let me show you. There's a little, all the little cool books and stuff. Let's see what else is in here. Ooh, Ooh, look. Man, oh, look. Oh, stickers. Stickers. That's the best part. Stickers. Cool. Gotta have stickers. They go on the safes. Yes. Okay. What else do we have? <gasps> we got a little cool cleaning brush. A piece of trash. Yeah, another one. Yeah, there we go. <gasps> this is called a moon clip. I will be able to use moon clips in competition. And easily meet the 155 power factor. Yes. And not have to worry about sticking cases in a 38 or long wobbly cases in a 357. That's right. It will be very sweet. Yeah, you're going to move up a long ways using that. Yes, definitely. Okay, what else do we have here? Oh, Jackie Russo, this is for you. This is a trigger lock. That's to put on your little trigger so that if a bad man comes into your house, you can say, just a minute, Mr. Badman, I have to take my trigger lock off of my gun before I defend myself. And this, so this is going to go in the garbage. Bye bye. So very soon I will be shooting this in competition. Yep, we just have to work up a 200 gram pet load. Yep. It only has to go 775 feet a second to make power. So it should just kind of go poof poof like your 3880 grain loads do. Yep. And all we have to do is change out. I prefer to have a green front sight fiber too. optic tube it, it kind of matches the green on the back and then we're going to have some texturing done on the trigger like i had done on my 38 rhino and then we'll probably just transfer swap out the grips yeah the grips that are on the 38 onto for those that haven't seen the video i took a lot of material off of an extra grip here so it would move her palm and trigger finger closer to the trigger because she has small hands. Yeah, because it, it's kind of hard for me to actually... Especially if you're shooting support hand. Yeah, I see, I can't pull the trigger if I have my hand where it's supposed to be. So he took off a bunch of material Especially off on the of back here. side of the grip. Yeah. The so palm the, side, I should say. Yeah. So, so it moves your palm closer. Yep. And, and therefore so your fingers closer. Then I don't have to twist to get my good grip so I can pull the trigger. What's that thing in, this, in the cylinder? Oh, what is that garbage? That thing is, oops, well, it's on the floor now. Oh, it's where it belongs. <laughs> yeah. That is just to um, show that there's a flag to show that there's nothing in the cylinder. There hey, those go. look a little bigger around. They do. They look a lot bigger around. Now, if they would make one of these in 44 Special, 44 Russian, or 45 ACP, I'd be all over it. All over it. <laughs> well, but maybe they will. But I think they they'll have to make the frame a little bigger. Maybe they will sometimes. Because if you look, on, look down the cylinders... That's not a lot of space between cartridges, mm -mm. and it's not enough to put a bigger bore. Yeah, it'd have to be a lot bigger gun. Yep. But maybe they will. Maybe. They should sponsor you. Yes. Chiapa, by the way, yeah. you didn't give us enough moon clips with this gun. You only gave us one. Yeah. I'm supposed and to it's have either three or five, five. I forget which. Yeah. So, so you're going to be getting an email from us. Yep. Yep. Okay, cool. there it is. Oh, yes, we got this at Castle Guard Sports. We have to plug them. Yes. They were awesome. Link will be in the description. Yes, thank you.